Well, my son has asked me to make an engraving of his favourite magic card, Liliana of the Veil. Vale. And this is the card here. I got this image off the internet. And what I'm going to do is try and do an engraving with it. Now, before I do that, I have to pull this or import this into the Xtools D1's lasers software. And that's fairly easy to do. All I need to do is open Laserbox Basic. Just takes a few seconds to open. Oh, you have to excuse my hair today. I've been out walking the dogs and it looks a right mess. <laughs> Windswept is the word. Click menu. Then import, and it will take me to my folders. And this is on my desktop folder in YouTube. And that's the picture that I want. That will bring that directly into this program to allow me to resize it. I want this to be 195 point two by 264.1. Okay, so let's double check that that's done that. Yeah, 195.2 by 264.1. I'm going to lock that again so I don't mess it up. Turn on my laser. And as you can see, I've already got a piece of MDF in here at the moment. But before I do that, I just need to connect that up. So I just connect the laser box and then push the little play button. And then the little play button will allow me to check that I've got this in the right place and set it off on its journey and why how I do that is by hitting framing so I can watch the framing and as you can see I'm using the new honeycomb base on this it gives such a great finish to it and it just channels all the smoke out really really well I set the setting here to basswood because that's the nearest I've got out of these settings and I find that that works really easily and does engrave really well and that kind of sets the power and the speed for you automatically I just need to check that again yeah I'm happy with that turn on my extractor fan put on my fabulous cool shades because that is a cool dude I'm going to give it one more framing just to double check I, I'm over cautious so all I'm going to do is just leave this running while I'm doing some other crafting around in the studio yeah I'm all good with that so I'm gonna push start and then I just leave that running and then once that's running it as long as you don't turn off your computer you're all good you don't need to worry well, this is all engraved out and I'm really pleased with how it's come out. There are just a couple of stages that I want to do next. One is to stain it to get rid of this kind of MDF colour. Now, I have done a little swatch. That's an antique pine and that is an Indian rosewood. And I think the Indian rosewood actually looks really nice in comparison to the antique pine. So, it's just a, a wood dye. I'm going to put it on using a piece of cotton cloth and just rub it all over. I actually think MDF colours quite well. And as that dries, that will lighten up a little bit. But I just think that really does make it pop a little bit. And once that's completely dry, then what I shall do is give it a varnish as well. Because I want it to be quite a, a glossy card. So there we go, that's that done. I'm going to do the sides and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm ready to varnish. Well, this is all dried up now and I'm ready to put the varnish on it. I'm going to be using a gloss varnish that I've got here and a brush on one. I could spray it, but actually I want to use this gloss varnish because I think it will give it a, a thicker coat. And I think that is what it needs. Now this gloss varnish should dry clear and I'll give it two coats of gloss varnish. So once I've done this first coat and this is dried, what I'll do is I'll give it a very light sand with a very fine sandpaper and then I'll give it a second coat. And then I'll show you what it looks like. Completely finished, all nice and glossy. The gloss varnish is all dried on there now. I'm really pleased with how that come out and I love the stain that's on there. That has really enhanced that picture as well. My son is, is absolutely going to love this.
And it was so easy to do. The DX Tools D1 Laser is just a superb tool that you can do so much with. Let me know in the comments what you would use it for or if you've got a laser that you use and the sorts of things that you make with it. I'm really interested to find out. I'll leave the link to the X Tools D1 laser in the description below along with the link to everything else that I've used today. And if you want to learn more about the X Tools D1 laser, I'll link the card to the unboxing video next. So make sure you tap on that and it gives you a load more information. Please boot that like button. It really helps my videos to get out there and it makes me smile. And if you're a first time viewer, hit that subscribe button. Take care, enjoy your crafting. Bye.